I just love trees. As a teenager, I'd party around them. In my 20s, I'd chain myself to them. But nowadays, I just love planting them. In this episode, I'm gonna take you on an undercover expose of some of my favorite trees to show you how they've been incorporated into clever design to help heat and cool houses. Trees provide valuable habitat for our precious native species. Plus they can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by removing carbon from the atmosphere. As well as saving the planet, trees can also help you save money. No matter where you live or work, incorporating trees into your space can reduce the demand for artificial heating and cooling in a building, which will save you on energy bills. As a rule of thumb, think native, deciduous or edible, or all three. And before you pay a trip to your local sustainable nursery, make sure you check your local invasive plant list, just to ensure that you're not inadvertently planting a monster of a weed in your own backyard. Now, our first port of call. At this place, they've planted trees on the northern eastern and western sides of the house and in a couple of years they've managed to reduce their household heating and cooling costs by around 20 percent. My neighbour here has planted trees on the northern side of the house which is terrific because it reduces indoor temperatures by up to 6 to 12 degrees over summer and it does that because it's shading the walls, windows and the roof. And over here you can see evergreen trees like this camellia and this eucalypt to shade the house. Now evergreens work best when they're planted on the eastern or western sides of houses but if you plant them on the northern side just make sure they're going to get tall enough to allow light through over winter. A deciduous tree or vine like this one is even better than an evergreen because it will allow winter sun to naturally heat your home. Plus, you can use all the fallen leaves as lovely compost for the rest of your garden. What my neighbour's done here is planted some deciduous trees that will get tall fairly close to the house. Now what that's going to do is shade both the walls and the roof, meaning the heating and cooling effect is maximised. This ornamental pear tree here is a fantastic example of how a tall, thick tree can be used to deflect air up and over the top of the house. This can actually reduce your heating costs by up to 25%, which is a fantastic saving for your back pocket and the planet. Planting trees is good for the soul and it's good for the soil. It provides it with great nutrients and once the tree is grown, it won't need much water. Make sure to choose a tree that suits your purpose, bearing in mind that many trees can have quite large root systems, some more problematic than others. When choosing trees to plant, why not consider some of our threatened or endangered native tree species? Take for instance the Woolamai pine. Rediscovered in the wild in 1994 amid great excitement, the Woolamai pine had previously thought to be extinct, but since then, Thousands have been planted in parks and backyards across Australia. Oh, and remember, if you don't have a backyard to plant a tree in, get involved in a local tree planting scheme. Whether it's driving to work or heating our homes, so much of our daily life depends on the unsustainable use of natural resources, things like fossil fuels. But by taking a little bit of time and effort and planting a tree, we can actually offset a lot of our carbon emissions. Look, I'm a superficialist in Mex Koala, and I love trees because they're beautiful. By planting trees in suburban streets and concrete jungles, we're helping people reconnect with nature, even if they don't realise it. <laughs> 